In this video, we will learn about Web 3.0. So Web 3.0 is one of the most trending topics of this generation and the future generation because uh, after Web 1.0, 2.0, we have Web 3.0. Okay, so it is considered as the next generation of Web. Let's see. Before beginning with Web 3.0, we should know what is Web 1.0 and Web 2.0. In 1989, Tim Berners-Lee, who developed, who invented Web World, www, that is uh, World Wide Web, introduced the concept of Web 1.0. This is the time wherein web browsers were developed and uh, all these internet stuff were also came so that people can go to the internet and work around web pages, create uh, static web pages. That means a web page is only used for scrolling information for navigating web pages and others. At that time, I hope you know, SQL was there. So all the data was managed by SQL. That is by creating these simple rows and column form. That is the relational model. So this was the time from uh, 1989 to 2004. Okay, so all the entire data was uh, only stored in the form of table rows and columns because there was no social media data, there was no surveillance data and all. Then came web 2.0 because around 2004 there was a need of uh, managing uh, surveillance data or uh, data from videos and that time also Facebook introduced and other social media platforms were getting developed. So web 2.0 zero started from 2004. So basically in 2004, Timo really came up with the idea of web 2.0 is also considered as someone who proposed the concept of open source. Okay. At that time, dynamic websites are starting emerging. So we saw Facebook getting introduced wherein you can go and sign up and log in and you can post your images, text and which will get saved by the same Facebook platform in the same way other platforms also came up. So there was a movement from static web pages to dynamic web pages. Even online shopping websites and uh, the travel websites emerged so that people can log in, sign up and book a flight. At that time came the unstructured data as in shown here, the mobile data or the data in our laptop and all. That means uh, storing images, videos, storing the Facebook data like Facebook is having social media data it can have images, documents, can have images, videos and uh, other related files. So all these were stored using the concept of all these comes under unstructured data. So at that time, no SQL database is introduced to fix the scalability issues of SQL. Scalability issues of SQL, that means SQL was only able to store relational data. That is the data which can be stored in the form of table, rows and columns. So what about this images, videos, surveillance, social media data? For that came NoSQL and at that time we saw the beginning of MongoDB. Okay, this was the time wherein all the dynamic website and cloud computing concept came. This was from 2004 till now. But what about now? Now we have Web 3.0 which is coined by Gavin Wood, Ethereum co-founder. Now what is Ethereum? Ethereum is a decentralized open source blockchain. Okay, so uh, it is considered that Web 3.0 will make the internet accessible to everyone not even accessible, you will be able to live in it. The concept of distributed computing also comes with the web 3.0 concept with that AR, VR, virtual reality and augmented reality, that AR devices, okay, the IoT devices, uh, wearable devices and the blockchain concept. So blockchain was basically popularized by Satoshi Nakamoto in 2008 for basically creating a public transaction ledger of the cryptocurrency Bitcoin, okay. So this web 3.0 is considered as the next generation of web which is also having metaverse through which you can be part of the internet for the first time. Now let us see the features of web 3.0. Semantic web, it will allow the computer to analyze the data from the web that can include uh, the transactions, the connection between persons, the connection and link between persons so that to make a more secure environment and user experience. This was uh, proposed by Tim Berners-Lee in 2001. Now you must have heard about the spatial web term. This is related to your 3D graphics. So imagine a place wherein all the physical and digital 3D virtual worlds without any boundaries. Okay. Okay. So there won't be any boundary between the physical object and the digital content. Okay. So that includes your uh, AR, VR, virtual reality, augmented reality, IoT devices, artificial intelligence, machine learning, 5G, blockchain sensors. And and a lot of other concepts in it. 
okay so all these technologies will be part of web 3.0 so spatial web you can easily consider you can access the spatial web the next generation of internet using ar glasses or even digital contact lenses you must have seen all all these in iron man movies and many marvel dc comic movies okay it also includes accessing and being part of the spatial web using iot devices wearable devices robo one of the best examples to understand the concept of the next generation of web that is web 3.0 is by learning about the vr concept that is oculus oculus vr so we must have seen these devices through these devices even sitting at home we can access the internet we can be part of it okay other features include decentralized in web 1.0 and 2.0 which we saw that is from 1989 to 2004 and 2004 till now the applications were basically centralized that is it wasn't decentralized that would mean web 3.0 will be decentralized that is there won't be any central authority but that will also lead to some insecure approach but uh, this is a debatable topic that whether web 3.0 is uh, more secure or it is likely to be less secure because it is going uh, without any central authority so uh, these are the lines by uh, these are the official lines no permission is needed from a central authority to post anything on the web okay there is no controlling mode no single point of failure no kill switch so this will also include freedom from any censored content from any censorship indiscriminate censorship and surveillance which also shows us our next feature that is no permission required there is no permission required from a governing body to access web 3.0 blockchain so blockchain i told you before web 3.0 is completely blockchain based and it provides authenticity through decentralization that is no central authority through this decentralization you can store the information in multiple locations at the same time that is simultaneously so this web 3.0 and blockchain concept also includes non fungible tokens which is uh, nfts nft is basically a financial security consisting of digital data stored in a blockchain in the form of a distributed ledger it also includes the defi concept now what is defi defi means uh, decentralized finance which uses cryptocurrency and blockchain technology to manage financial transactions it also includes the cryptocurrency dapps concept uh, now what is dapps dapps basically means decentralized application that can operate independently through the use of smart contracts running on a decentralized computing blockchain these decentralized application uses ethereum to disrupt business models or inventing new ones with that we have other concepts like doos doos is basically decentralized autonomous organization whose purpose is to allow investor to send money from anywhere in the world anonymously okay so uh, web 3.0 also includes metaverse so what is metaverse we will discuss later also it is a fictional universe a virtual environment which can be accessed using internet so let's say let's say you are at home and uh, all your friends are their respective homes some in uh, different states or different countries so using these devices you can you can live the internet you can be part of a fictional universe wherein all your friends are present and you can see their avatars like the avatar we saw while uh, working on bitmoji there was bitmoji before so you can create your own avatar and can be present at the same location fictionally that is using our device using our ar vr device okay and uh, at that time you can uh, easily go along you can attend concerts within part of the fictional universe and you can also buy stuff using cryptocurrency bitcoins and you can also work along nfts and do payments okay then it also includes the machine learning and ai concept machine learning is a branch of artificial intelligence machine learning is a type of artificial intelligence you can say that allows application to become more accurate at predicting at predicting outcomes okay it focuses on the use of data and algorithms to basically imitate the way humans learn and with the purpose to improve the to enhance the accuracy of the results okay so to provide faster and more accurate results we need machine learning and ai which is also part of this web 3.0 concept with that uh, one of the most hot topics of today the trending topics of today is metaverse one of the features of web 3.0 now let us also discuss what is metaverse in this video we will learn about the metaverse concept that is a fictional universe 
let's see so basically metaverse is considered as the next evolution of internet that is a part of web 3.0 so web 1.0 came from 1989 to 2004 then came web 2.0 from from 2004 till now and then came the web 3.0 concept which also includes the metaverse so you can actually live in the internet with metaverse right now internet is 2d that means you can open any website you can scroll any website you can navigate to any website do your payments there itself book your flight tickets and do anything else play games also but metaverse will actually allow users to be part of the internet and walking through using vr headsets like oculus okay that also includes your digital contact lenses glasses iot variables and others every user will have their individual avatars that will be visible whenever they'll be wearing a vr headset like oculus okay so i told you that metaverse universe will have a virtual avatar for every user they can connect with each other they can also enhance and improve their social connections uh, go to a concert virtually pay there using uh, using cryptocurrencies bitcoins you can also work around nfts that is non fungible tokens so looking at the popularity facebook also came with the concept of this and it announced its own metaverse platform horizon world okay so what are the uses the basic uses i have discussed here metaverse can be used by users for enhancing their social collections as i have told before they can attend meetings virtually by living in the internet a group of friends can connect with each other host parties can go to a concert can select products there and buy it okay but what are the other uses the applications a virtual platform for doctors so doctors can run simulations so that they can conduct a surgery with that uh, the the interior designing and architecture world based on what you show if you are able to prove yourself by showing the actual interiors then you'll be able to get a client okay so you can virtually show your product to your clients using this metaverse concept so users will be present there with their avatar and you can show your product to them okay using these vr devices and marketplace we all know the nft the non fungible concept the non fungible token concept the bitcoins and cryptocurrency these are all trending topics and hot topic so it will be also a part of a virtual marketplace to sell nfts now you must have heard about uh, the relation of facebook with the metaverse facebook uh, introduced meta in october 2021 looking at the popularity of metaverse the actual focus of meta will be to bring metaverse to life okay so facebook heavily investing in ar and vr devices okay to devise uh, to develop uh, more uh, better and enhanced oculus vr devices headsets so let us focus on the metaverse definition by the official facebook website so metaverse is a set of virtual spaces where you can create and explore with other people who aren't in the same physical space let's say you and your friends are not at the same location one is in india other is in us other is in australia and other is in canada but you want to meet you want to greet each other you want to host a party you want to watch you want to be virtually present at a concert and pay there itself and you can also try clothes virtually using an avatar you can do it using metaverse the same is written here you will be able to hang out with friends work play learn shop create and more okay it's about making the time you do spend on in more meaningful so to learn more about metaverse these are the two links official facebook links that also include some demo videos i'll mention these links in the video description so metaverse as i told you before is a functional universe or virtual environment accessed using internet it includes vr and it combines vr and ar but also includes other concepts like your uh, uh, cryptocurrency nfts blockchain 5g iot variable devices a lot of them are part of metaverse that is web 3.0 the metaverse market size is expected to reach 872.35 billion us dollars in 2028 and it will register a revenue cagr that is a revenue compound annual growth rate of 44.1% so it is expected that uh, this will be a huge market in 2028 the so the next 5 years belongs to metaverse and web 3.0 concept here it is from reportsanddata.com 44.1% of uh, annual growth rate is expected from 2021 to 2028 and which of the categories and segments are expected to grow in a faster way through the metaverse concept 
here you can see fashion and education media entertainment fashion and education are expected to grow more than any other market and here is a uh, another bar graph showing north america europe and apex that is asia pacific region wherein the expected growth of uh, metaverse market will be huge okay so this is the concept of oculus vr i told you you must have seen these devices before as well these are the devices which will be actually used in the concept of to live the internet to be part of internet using using oculus vr now let us see a quick example of metaverse so we have taken these screenshots from the official youtube channel of meta that is facebook one of the friend is conversing with other and she asked her ready for this after party jumping in now she'll click and she'll be part of that party okay now they both are part of it virtually with their avatar these two are having their avatars and the rest people visible here are also having their avatars okay so you can easily create an avatar like we used to do in bitmoji you can add uh, uh, different hair colors and uh, your what you are wearing your height your weight your hairstyle uh, your glasses and everything else you can add now moving further they are part of a virtual party they are virtually present here using the internet the web 3.0 metaverse concept now they move further so this is the party going on they are uh, having their vr devices which we have seen before okay and in their vr devices they are viewing these things actually now they'll move further and they'll find this kioske wherein they can buy something they can help and support charity there itself using cryptocurrency bitcoins now they move further let's say one of them liked this uh, hoodie now what they'll do they'll just buy them and she liked a cap now they'll buy them and it will be virtually present on them okay like the cap and the hoodie so they can easily check how they are looking using these kioskes then they want to go to a concert let's say they want to go a concert they can directly click here using these uh, kiosk is virtually visible kiosk is and they can and they can directly pay there then go to a concert and pay there itself so basically this was the concept of metaverse so guys in this video we saw how we can easily work around the metaverse web 3.0 concepts thank you for watching the video